Hey there, fellow adult collectors. Welcome back. David Eon here, reaching out to all of you vintage toy aficionados. And today we are showcasing Freddy Krueger. That's right, Talking Freddy Krueger. 18 inch Talking Freddy Krueger made by Matchbox in 1989. 1989. This is who we're going to be taking a close look at today. And he is a pull string talker, a pull string talker that still works. And every once in a while, if you have a toy with a mechanism like that, it's a good idea to just make it work, to make sure that it still does, and to just get the mechanism running. And today I was going to test Freddy, and I figured I may as well film this. Maybe you've never heard Freddy. Well, we're going to try to hear all of Freddy's phrases here in a minute when I test his pull string apparatus. And this is one of the last of the era of pull string talking dolls like this. As you reach into the 90s and beyond and everything became electronic and fully battery operated. And again, this is Matchbox. This is something actually that Mattel is better known for. Mattel and even Hasbro better known for pull string talkers. And we're going to get a nice close look at Freddy here. I'll zoom in on him for you. Try not to be too frightened. Oh, there you go. Look at him. And they still try to make him look kind of cute. He's not, but they try. <laughs> Freddy Krueger, everybody. Let's market this to children. Great idea. And I can see that argument. What the hell was Matchbox thinking? I mean, they were doing like Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman is in the same size and style of box and produced around the same time. Pull string talking Pee Wee Herman and Freddy Krueger. But then again, toy companies have done stuff like this in the past. For example, the ideal 1975 Jaws game people might think was inappropriate at the time. Or what was it, 1977? Kenner, the big chap alien. That was a film that kids in those days couldn't even get into. <laughs> so what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is that all about? If you take a look at Freddy Krueger here, got a nice close-up of him. And I'll get a, another look at that artwork. It's not bad artwork there. You can see Freddy. It doesn't quite look like Robert Englund. <laughs> that is probably so that they didn't have to pay him a royalty. <laughs> I bet it doesn't sound like him either. I'm, I'm guessing that it doesn't. It's been a while since I've messed with this toy. So I'm, I'm assuming it doesn't sound like him. This is sealed. That's the top of the box there. Let me just get the glare off of it. Nightmare on Elm Street. And I'll show you the bottom. And there's the copyright material there. And this is definitely done by Matchbox, but it does not say Matchbox anywhere on this package. So we can look up and down. Oh, there's Freddy from the from the film, so they did use some still shots from the movie. There we go. So Robert Englund might have gotten a check. There we go. Here you go, kids. And he is surface washable, as you see. So if, if your Freddy is dirty, you can give him a bath. Take a look at the back of the package. A Nightmare on Elm Street talking Freddy Krueger. Each time you pull Freddy's string, he has a special message just for you. Yeah, see, just for you. Yeah, I trust that. Pleasant dreams. Pull my string to hear me talk and make me pose if you dare, because he does have wires in his body. So he is slightly posable, slightly. Very limited articulation on Freddy here. There's a couple of more shots from the film. See, that's probably uh, Robert Englund. A 
That one I'm not so sure about. His, like, glamour shots. You remember glamour shots? Who's that old? Look sexy for me, baby. <laughs> yeah, okay, Freddy. <laughs> yeah. So, here's your talking Freddy. And we'll go ahead and see what Freddy has to say. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to hear this. Here we go. Let's see how many phrases we can get out of them. Hi, I'm Freddy. Did you hear that? Let me get a little closer. Pleasant dreams. That doesn't sound like Robert England to me. Pleasant dreams. You said that already. Is it louder in the front? Watch out. Freddy's back. It is a little louder in the front. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give this to my kid to play with. Watch out, Freddy's back. Let's be friends. Trying to see if I can get him to say anything else. Hi, I'm Freddy. Okay. Watch out, Freddy's back. Welcome to Elm Street. Oh, there we go. So, let me see... Pleasant dreams, let's be friends, welcome to Elm Street, watch out, Freddy's back. I think the only thing we didn't hear was the laughter. There should be a laughter track as well. Pleasant dreams. Let's be friends. Hi, I'm Freddy. Watch out, Freddy's back. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there you go get that for the uh, grandkid that you hate notice the price tag that is a Bradley's price tag I used to work for Bradley's in the early 90's department store chain similar to like Kmart that sort of a thing mostly on the east coast and you have a $9.99 price tag, and I'm sure it goes from $9.99 to a clearance price of $5. I've seen these for usually around the $20 mark, if, you, if it has a, a vintage price tag still attached to it, an original price tag, $19.95, $19.99, $18.99, $18.99, something like that. So $9.99, I question whether or not this is the original price for this. But, you know, who knows? I don't know what Bradley's did back in the day. Anyways, if you've never encountered <laughs> Talking Freddy Krueger before, <laughs> here you go, folks. There he is in all of his glory. What do you think? Is this something that you need for your horror collection or maybe a pull string talking doll collection which is essentially what it is i wouldn't call it a an action figure it's wire articulation on a plush body with a rubber head i think the hat's removable i've never handled one loose but i'm pretty sure the hat's removable it's just a big vinyl hat it looks kind of goofy and there's other ones you know kenner did beetlejuice i know that there were some done for Where's Waldo. It was a thing for a time. It was a thing for a time in the late 80s. A talking pull string doll in this kind of a configuration. Thoughts? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope that you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Please do check out some of our other content. You may find something interesting. We're all in nostalgia here, folks. And if that is it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you in your dreams.